Just digging up some three-toed eggs on this nice July morning. He's real. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Alright, I'm gonna start digging these up and then let's see what we got. Four eggs and a peanut. Thanks, sweetheart. These are beautiful eggs. Size them. Alright, let me go get the incubator ready. We'll leave the peanut for the squirrels though. Okay, folks, so I am home alone, so I have the um, stand up so I can try to film this as best I can. I have some vermiculite in a container and I pop some holes around the top of the, the container. And I have my four three-toed eggs that I just dug up. These were laid late last night and um, just kind of monitored where, where they were and went out this morning and sure enough, dug up four eggs. So I'm just gonna wipe these off I just get the dirt off of them. So they were only in there overnight, so I don't have to worry too much about, you know, not really flipping them over, although I'm not going to flip them over. But these are nice size eggs. Really, really nice. So I'm gonna put them in the vermiculite, clean the next one. We have a nice mix. We have really great soil out there. I mean, the soil out there is so amazing. We get so many weeds and and uh, worms, bugs of all kinds out there. It's a nice soft soil, and we added a lot of sand to it as well. So they got some really good digging areas. And. Um, Funny, this is one of the three toads that you know, she seemed kind of young to me. I didn't think she could lay such oof, these are nice size eggs. Who knows she had a dinner? But um yeah, we didn't just don't know. We don't have them long enough to know, you know, their patterns or really their age or anything, but and we uh we think we saw a few lay last year and that was the first year we had them. Never we found some, you know kind of uh, sunken in eggs when we cleared out that three-toed enclosure and moved them. But we didn't find any babies, so we just assumed that they weren't, you know, the turtles weren't ready yet. But um, we've seen a lot of them laying in there. Um, we decided to get an incubator. We were just originally gonna let them just kind of hatch out on their own. It's so cool finding babies. You know, next year we'd probably find you know, a few babies here and there, and that's just such an awesome thing when you just find them, you know, rummaging around in, this, in the soil, in the enclosure. They survived, they hatched. But um, there's just not, there's, there's quite a few turtles in there and we just don't want them to get crushed. We have also had, we had a fox get in last winter and now that we have the fence secure, we're hoping we don't get any more fox. But um, we have some, Little ground animals that we know get in there and dig things up, so we just don't want anybody to get dug up. And I'm just going to put today's date on these, which is the 8th. With a pencil, very lightly, so we can track these things. And Sammy's letting everybody know that he's awake. I'm going to cover this up and then I have the incubator here ready to go. I'm going to go set this up in um, one of the back rooms and hopefully we can start filling this baby up and get some little three-toe babies. Super excited. Keep you guys posted.